humans. I am Queen Rat. I'm bad and you should fear me. Remember that. Why you ask? Well, the answer is simple. I hate all humans. So watch out, people. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, great. The fairy I love to hate. That's right. It's me, Fairy Bowbells. Come to stop you with my spells. For hidden within my words that rhyme is the power to defeat you in good time. Next to me, Queen Rat, you look like a mouse. You're nothing to me, Bowbells. Go back to your house. My magic is too strong for you to stop. You know I'll always come out on the top. My rats are destroying London City. And all you can do is watch and look. Pretty. Well, there. that's where you're wrong. You wait and see. A young man comes to London with a destiny. He'll beat you, defeat you, bring you down. Nobody will ever steal my crown. Oh, really? Line. But I can speak a name that'll stop you in your ratty tracks. You'll be so scared you shall collapse. Oh, come now, fairy. Use your brain. You can't stop me with a single name. Honestly, no bells. You must be thick. Oh, really? And what if that name was Dick? Dick? That seems to ring a bell. And on that thought, you should dwell. Dick Whittington comes to London as we speak. If I were you, Queen Rat, with fear I'd squeak. Yeah, but if to defeat me truly is his destiny, Dick Whittington is my greatest enemy! <laughs> Indeed he is. He's London's great hero. And with my help, he'll bring you down to Enough! zero. Enough! I want to hear no more, but I'll be back of that, be sure. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. At last she's gone. Now this rhyme's starting to drag on. Oh, that's better. Speaking in rhyme gets pretty tiring, you know. Now, our story begins four miles from London on Highgate Hill. Dick Whittington had been walking for days on end. He had... Excuse me, madam. Could you get out of the way, please? I beg your pardon. Well, I'm... Well, uh, you're obstructing my view of the London skyline. But I'm welcoming the audience to our panto. We'll do it somewhere else. I'm trying to paint. But you're a cat. Well, of course I am. But I'm also an artist. In fact, I'm rather good. One day the whole world will know my name. And that name is? Picasso. Of course it is. Would you like to see my painting so far? Go on then. What do you think? Oh, it's, it's beautiful. But um, do you think you've painted the correct London? What do you mean the correct London? There's only one London. No, 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 it's just uh, this panto set in the 14th century, remember? Yes. I don't think London had lights and buses in the 14th century. Oh, well, it's an abstract interpretation. You see, 14th century London looks so bleak and miserable. So I thought I'd spice it up a bit. And a good thing too. London really isn't a very nice place. Especially with all those rats running all over the place. Did you say rats? Yes, they're everywhere, the awful creatures. If only we had... Oh, Picasso, do you like eating rats? Oh, you bet I do. Have you got some with you? No, 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 not here. But, but I'm I've... starving. Listen, Picasso, you've got to help me. You're going to be Dick's companion. <laughs> companion? I'm an artist, not a pet. Thank you very much. But you could help save London, Picasso. Ooh, you'll get to feast on rats. Feast on rats? Yes, there's hundreds, thousands of rats for you to eat out there. And all you've got to do is help Dick. Have we got a deal? Yes. Excellent. Oh, here comes Dick now. Bye, everybody. How exciting. I'm going on an adventure. Oh, mind you, I hope I don't have to be in London for very long. It's just so ugly and miserable. Oh, there it is. London, the most beautiful city in the world. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, hello there. My name's Dick Whittington and I'm on my way to London to seek my fortune. I walked all the way here from Gloucester. I grew up there, you see. Couldn't seem to pick up the accent, though. Oh, but it was horrible. Almost as bad as Pibrac. Anyway, I've always dreamt of coming to London, where the streets are paved with gold and finding a life of riches and success. Well, you've come to the wrong place. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? I am Picasso, soon to be the greatest feline artist in the world. Wow, that's amazing. I know, right? Anyway, sorry to break it to you, Dick, but... 
London isn't like what you described at all. You mean the streets aren't paved with gold? Ha! <laughs> gold! There are barely any streets at all, let alone made of gold. But, but what about the stories I heard? All lies, I'm afraid. London isn't all it's made out to be, Dick. I... I don't believe you. Well, fine, go to London then. You'll see I'm right. Oh, but if I do go to London and you are right, what am I gonna do? I guess I'm just gonna be a poor lad from Gloucester alone in a big city with no one to turn to. Oh, I'll tell you what. How would you like a world-renowned artist to join you? You mean Ed Sheeran's coming with me? No, me! But you're not a world-renowned artist. How very dare you! Do you want me to come with you or not? Well, you'd make good company. Let's be friends. <laughs> Let's shake on no, it. No, no, we can't do that. Well, you don't want to be friends? No, I mean, yes, of course I want to be friends, but we can't shake hands. Why not? To protect ourselves from the coronavirus. <laughs> All right. Can we have five at Stop. least? No, no, we can't do that either. Let's just set off to London. But are we friends or not? Yes, of course we are. Come on, Picasso, my friend. To, <laughs> to London! London. Everybody. Is there anybody out there? Yeah. I know you're socially distanced, but you can be much louder than that. I said, hello, everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's much better. Now, let me introduce myself. I'm Sarah the Cook, and I live here in London. Anyway, enough about me for now. Let's have a look at you lot out there. Oh, you look like a lovely bunch. You remind me of a garden full of beautiful flowers. Yes, cauliflowers! <laughs> Mind you, some of you are very attractive cauliflowers, especially the men. <laughs> oh, I do like your master. That's very distinguished. And your master gives you a sense of intrigue. I like a bit of a mystery man. And your masks, I think that's definitely an improvement, OK? Now, I can't chit-chat all day. I have to get back to work. Fortunately, I'm here already. Welcome to Fitzwarren's store, my beautiful shop. Well, it's not really my shop. It belongs to the Alderman Fitzwarren, but I'm his most loyal and favourite worker. I run the shop, do the cooking, do the cleaning. Well, absolutely anything with the Alderman. I, he's a, such a handsome hunk. Anyway, what have we got to sell today? I remember now. I baked some cookies yesterday. Do you like cookies, boys and girls? Yeah. Well. I'm really sorry, but because of social distancing, I can't share them with you. But I just have to eat them all myself. But what I like about cookies is they all come with extra little surprises. These ones are chocolate chip. Absolutely yummy. And these ones are salted caramel. Delicious. Anyway, I hope we sell lots of cookies because time's really hard at the moment. Oh, they're much harder than that. Oh, they're even harder than that. All right, don't condescend us. You see, first came the coronavirus. Then London was taken over by a plague of rats, the nasty beast. Oh, I do hope that something good happens soon. Dare it! Alderman Fitzwarren, here comes something good. Ah, oh, there you are, Sarah. I thought you'd abandon me, Fitzy. Abandon you? Abandon you? No, I never abandoned my... Your future wife! No, no, one of my employees! Oh, yes, of course. Now, it's shop ready for business, like? Everything's ready, your aldermanship. All we need now is some customers. Oh, yes, I hope that business picks up and then rats stay away. Now we've moved shop outdoors. Oh, I forgot to tell everyone. This isn't where we normally sell our products. The alderman owns a fine shop just over there. Yes, just placed conveniently off at stage so you lot can't see it. <laughs> Shush! They don't need to know we've been cutting scenery costs due to coronavirus. We bought the stall outside because the rats have taken over the shop that's coincidentally located just off stage. But... Come to think of it, can't the rats still steal from the counter anyway? No, of course not. Oh, you right, Siri, you right. I mean, rats are ruining everything. Look, here comes one now. <laughs> the nasty beast. <laughs> Look at her sauntering in if she wants place. Prepare to witness a rat robbery. First, they move up behind counter. 
And then they look around all products to find some that it likes. Yeah! <laughs> ah, perfect. Oh, I can't wait to get my teeth into this. And then when they found some that it likes, they just scarf her. <laughs> what? A shit, yes. But you're forgetting some of your ordermanship. Am I? Yes. Social distancing. Oh, yes, you're right. So I'm sorry, we're going to have to start this scene all over again because that's not what rats do. Rats also have to respect social distancing. So the rat creeps towards the counter. But upon arrival at the counter, the rat first has to apply hand gel. Yeah. <laughs> Once the rat's paws are disinfected, she then looks around the shop to see how many people there are. Because there can only be three people at a time. <laughs> Once she's confirmed that, then she can proceed towards the counter. But, because she's respecting social distancing, she remains one metre away from the counter and yeah. doesn't touch anything unless she's ready to steal ah. it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> she then proceeds to pick it up. And of course, she doesn't pick anything up without disinfecting with antibacterial spray first. What? That's just stupid. Just do as you're told, uh, dear. There's some antibacterial spray there on the counter. Uh, fine. <laughs> Only, of course, yeah. the antibacterial spray bottle could have coronavirus yeah. molecules on it. So yeah. she needs to disinfect the disinfectant bottle first. Yeah, then how am I supposed to disinfect the disinfectant? There's another bottle of disinfectant behind the counter. Use that. Uh, fine. Uh, Stop! Uh, yeah. You didn't disinfect the disinfectant bottle you were going to use to disinfect the other disinfectant bottle before you touched it. But how am I supposed to disinfect the disinfectant bottle I was going to use to disinfect the other disinfectant bottle if I have to disinfect the disinfectant bottle before touching it? So, but there's another disinfectant bottle behind the counter. Use oh, that. Oh, I'm getting tired of this. Stop. Dad, don't tell me. I have to disinfect the disinfectant bottle I was going to use to disinfect the other disinfectant bottle that I was going to use to disinfect the other disinfectant bottle that I was going to use to disinfect the product before I touch it! Well, actually you do. No, oh, we are going round in circles! Well, there is an easier option. Well, spit it out. I won't be spitting because it risks to transmit coronavirus. All I was going to say is you could always wear gloves. You mean all of this was for nothing? Why didn't you tell me before? <laughs> there are some gloves behind the counter if you'd like to use them. Ah, perfect. Stop! Then what is it now? You didn't disinfect the gloves before putting them on! Oh, that's it! I give up! I don't know what all the fuss is about. It's just a few simple safety measures. Well, we all social distancing it, rats around. We're going to have to keep an eye close eye at shop at all times. Speaking of which, where's Simon? Oh, oh, hello, everybody. You're late again, Simon. Oh, I'm sorry. I just can't be bothered to come when there's nothing to do. I mean, ever since the coronavirus and the rats took over, nobody ever comes to the shop. And even when they do, everything we sell is rubbish. What? That's not true, Simon. Yes, it is. How do you expect me to get people to buy rubbish? I mean, look, even our vegetables are with. Look at this cucumber. <gasps> Give it to me. I bet I could sell this cucumber. And I know what, I've had a genius idea. I'm going to ask the audience out there if they'll help us. Will you help us sell this cucumber? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'll shout out some advertising slogans and you repeat them back, OK? Lovely cucumbers. Lovely cucumbers. Very... Cucumbery. Very, Very cucumbery. Kind of long and green. Kind, kind of long and green. Feel a surprising number of minerals, antioxidants, nutrients, yet reassuring loads of saturated fats. <laughs> oh, you're right, we're doomed. Well, what are we going to do? <laughs> well, look, I'm glad you're both here, right? Because I'm going to tell you my genius idea to get us out of this situation. We're going to go 
on a trading expedition. A trading expedition? Yes, we're going to sail across ocean, get lots of exotic products, bring them back here to London, and then sell them for a fortune. How exciting! We're going to be rich. Yes, I've got it all planned out. You know, my good friend Captain Whale and Loudly is going to take us there on his ship. Well, where are we going? We're going to Africa. <laughs> To Africa! I've always wanted to go to Africa. Well, I'm glad you're so enthusiastic, right? But anyway, get back to work and I'm off to plant last details of trip to Africa. Enough! It went funny first time, but not anymore, right? Come on, you lot back to work. Oh, Simon, I'm so excited about a trading expedition. Oh, you look after the shop. I've had a genius idea for a new recipe to cook. What is it? Bat soup. Bye-bye, everybody. Well, I guess I'd better do as I'm told and get back to work. Oh, I can't be bothered. I mean, it's not like anybody's watching, is it? Besides, now the Alderman and Sarah are gone, I can say hello to all of you. Hello, everybody! Hello. My name is Simple Simon, and as you might have guessed, I work at the Fitzwarren store. But it gets very lonely sometimes. Aww. Oh, I know. Would you guys like to be my friends? Oh, come on, I might be a bit biased, but the last audience was a lot better than you guys. Come on, everybody, do you want to be my friends? Yes! That's better. So, every time I come on stage, I'll shout, Hi, everybody, and you will shout back, Hi, Simon. Let's give it a try. Hi, everybody. Hi, Simon. Is there anybody out there? No. Let's try it again, but I want you to be really loud, okay? Hi, everybody! Hi, Whoa! That's a lot better! But let's do it one more time. But this time, I want you all to be really, 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 really loud, okay? Hi, everybody! Hi, Whoa! Fantastic! Well, now we're friends. I can tell you the secret. I'm in love. Oh, I'm much more in love than that. Oh, she's perfect. Fanny Fitzwarren. Every time I see her, my heart melts. Only problem is, I've never told her how I feel. But that's going to change, because today I'm going to ask her to be my girlfriend. Simon, is that you? Uh, quick, grab a rose. She loves roses. Wish me luck, everybody. Hello, Simon. Simon? Hello? Oh well, I guess I'll have to look after the store by myself. Oh, thank goodness she's gone. I couldn't do it. I took one look at Ant. Oh, I couldn't. Couldn't do what, Simon? Um, Fanny, you're back. I never left. I just walked behind the counter. What? I mean, oh uh, yes, of course you were. I was just <laughs> joking with you. <laughs> oh, right. So, what were you saying you couldn't do? Nothing, of course. You mean you're finally admitting you're useless and can't do anything? What? No, of course I wasn't. Oh, this wasn't how it was supposed to go. How what was supposed to go? Fanny, I just wanted to ask if you'd maybe potentially think about considering being my girlfriend. Oh, gosh, your girlfriend. Please don't make me ask you again. Well, it's very lovely of you to ask, Simon, but I can't. What? Why? Because... Oh, please, Fanny. I got you the rose and everything. Take the rose at least. I can't accept the rose, Simon, because of social distancing. Social distancing? There might be coronavirus on the rose. But I disinfected it and... Are you rejecting me then? I'm very sorry, Simon, but I am. Okay, no worries. It's fine. I think I'm just gonna go and cry alone in a corner forever and ever. Bye, everybody. <laughs> See you later, Simon. Oh, I hope I haven't upset him. To be honest, I use social distancing as a bit of an excuse, but please don't tell him. Simon's nice enough, I just don't love him. Oh, it'll be nice to fall in love. 
I wonder if I'll ever find the one. Oh, Picasso, you were right. London really isn't what I expected. Picasso? Oh, she must have got on painting again. Oh, well, I'm sure she'll be back soon. Oh. oh, but what do I do now? I thought London was the answer to all my problems. I was expecting streets paved with gold, beautiful things to marvel at everywhere I looked. Oh, but I was wrong. <laughs> Nothing's beautiful here. Uh, forget what I just said. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I've never seen you before. Are you new to London? I am. My name's Dick Whittington, and I've come to London to seek my fortune. Dick. That's a funny name. Oh, that's not very nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Not to worry. What's yours? Fanny. Oh, that's a funny name as well. Is it? Oh, well, yes. Uh, funny, Fanny. Huh? <laughs> I'm just being like you. Funny. My name's not funny. It's Fanny. But it's still funny. How many times do I have to tell you it's Fanny? Oh, I never said it wasn't. But your name is also funny. You mean I've got two names? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that your name is funny. Well, I am saying that your name is funny. But that doesn't mean your name is funny. It's Fanny. What? Never mind. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. And you're the most handsome guy I've ever met. Oh, Fanny, I've never felt this way about anyone before. Oh, Dick, me neither. The closer I get to you, the more beautiful you look. And you... Stop! Simon? Oh, uh, hi, Fanny. And who is this unbearable, repulsive, idiotic Dick? Exactly, he even admits it himself. No, my name is Dick. Dick Whittington, pleased to meet you. Not pleased to meet you, thank you very much. Oh, get away from my girlfriend. Girlfriend? I'm not your girlfriend, Simon. Oh, fine. Fall in love with Dick then. But remember, you've got to respect social distancing. What does he mean we've got to respect social distancing? Oh, ignore him. I'm sure he's only joking. There we go. If you're going to fall in love, you've got to respect her one metre distance. Oh, come on, Simon. You can't expect bap, bap, bap. us... I don't want to hear it. Social distancing must be respected at all times. Good day to you both. Can we carry on falling in love now that he's gone? Of course we can. Come here, Dick. Oh, it's no good. Oh, I wish I could come within one metre of you, Dick. Oh, I wish I could come within one metre of you too, Fanny. We met here in London. It's been love at first sight. Social distancing can't stop us, try as it might. Though I wish I didn't have to stand a metre from you. Dick, I love you. Fanny, I love you too. We're so close, yet so far away. So close, yet so far away. We believe in tomorrow, but we're stuck in today. Getting so close, so close, yet so far away. There's a restless look in your eyes tonight. There's a secret hurt in my heart. Together, boy. It's a dream that's gonna tear us, tear us apart. So close, yet so far away. So close, yet so far away. Who would have thought, God, that we'd end up this way? Getting so close. So close, yet so far away. So close, yet so far away. So close, yet so far away. So close. Emergency! Emergency! Somebody help! Father, what's the matter? Oh, it's sharp rats are attacking it again. Look, here comes another one. <laughs> oh, no, what are we going to do? Oh, no, no, funny rats are taking everything. There's not been anything left to take on training the expedition. We're doomed. I think I can help you there, sir. Who are you like? Dick Whittington, sir. And this is my cat for cat, so. 
Go on, Picasso, go get those rats. But I'm in the middle of painting a beautiful piece of artwork. You can paint later. Come on, Picasso, go get those rats. Well, fine then. <laughs> <laughs> Well done indeed. What did you say your name were again? Dick Whittington, sir. I've come to London to seek my fortune. <laughs> yes, yes. And I'm his cat, Picard. So anyway, got to go. World-class artists have better things to do than stand around chatting. Ooh. Did you say you were the shop owner, sir? I am indeed. And why do you ask that like? Well, I haven't exactly found anywhere to stay yet in London. And I was wondering if you might be all able to offer me a job. A job? Oh, Father, please say yes. Well, I guess your cat would be a good rat catcher. <gasps> Picasso, come back! Ooh, what kind of artwork do you need? I can do all sorts of techniques. I can paint, I can draw, I can... No, we don't need you to do any art. <laughs> Did you say art? Yes. I am a very talented artist. One day, I am going to be world famous. Oh, that's fantastic, Picasso. Your answer to me, praise. And would you like a job as rat catcher and resident artist at Fitz Warren's store? Resident artist and rat catcher. Oh, that sounds amazing. Wonderful. Oh, Fanny, this is answer to us, praise. Now, not only will this cat rid us of our rat problem, but it'll also paint some pictures so we can take them on trading expeditions. But what about me? What do we need you for? Well, think about it, Father. I'm sure we could use some extra help on our trading expedition. Besides, Picasso and I come as a pair, don't we, Picasso? Do we? Uh, Fine, I guess we do. Well, well, I suppose you both can have a job. <gasps> oh, and you can both stay here at Fitz Warren's store. Oh, thank you so much. Right, I'd better introduce you to the rest of the team, aren't you? Sarah, Simon, come and be Picasso and his dick. Uh, um, I mean... Dick Whittington and his cat Picasso. What was, what was that, your ordermanship? Oh, I just want to introduce you to Dick Whittington and Picasso. Pleased to meet you, Sarah. And you. I'm Sarah the Cook, the most beautiful woman in the whole wide world. It's a good job they didn't have TikTok in 14th century, isn't it? <sighs> I uh, look forward to working with you, Sarah. What a charming young man. Oh, hello, everybody. Ah, Simon, have you met Dick? Yes, I've already met Dick, thank you very much. And what about his cat, Picasso? Why on earth would I care about his cat? Because they're our new colleagues, Simon. What? They're going to be working with us. Isn't it so exciting? Exciting? And they're going to join us on our trading expedition to Africa. Are oh, we? Oh, yes, I forgot to tell you, didn't I? We're going on a, a trading expedition. Oh, I can't wait! Oh, that's the spirit. Right, now, look, it's going a bit late, right? So we're all going to have to get some sleep. Now, Dick, being as it's your first, uh, first day on job, I'm going to give you a special job for night. I'd be honoured, sir. Right. This is the most precious, my most precious uh, possession in the world. It is the last, the last, the last and the one and only toilet roll of paper in London. And I'm going to keep it safe in this safe overnight. And I want you to guard it. Do you think you can manage that? Yes, sir, you can count on me, sir. That's wonderful. You know, Dick, you've only been here a few minutes, but I really feel you're going to be a valuable part of the team. Oh, thank so you. So much better than Saturn. Oi! <laughs> thank you, sir. That really means a lot. Right, good night, everybody. And I'd best be off as well, so nighty-night, Dick, and lovely to meet you, Picasso. Nighty-night, everyone. See you tomorrow, Dick. I'm missing you already. And you, my love, sleep well. Come on, Simon, let's leave Dick in peace. Good night, Simon. Whatever. Simon, don't speak to Dick like that. Fine. Good night, Dick. I love you, Dick. I love you too, Fanny. Oh. Oh, Picasso and this and this wonderful. Only an hour ago, I didn't think I'd survive London, but oh, here I am. I've got an hour later, I've got a job, a place to stay, and I met the girl of my dreams. It's suddenly been quite a day. Oh, but I, I'm, I'm so tired. Oh, but I must stay up and look after the alderman's toilet paper. This is my chance to prove myself.
Well, that's very inspiring, isn't it? How about you keep thinking about that while I paint the beautiful night sky? Oh, what an inspiring view. I'd admire it all night if I could, but I must help Dick look after the toilet paper. I'm sure he'll manage without me for a couple hours, though. <laughs> oh, dear. He must be exhausted, the poor thing. Well, never mind. I guess I'll seek inspiration another time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm back, Queen Rat. <laughs> get away from me! I beg your pardon? Oh, Sue, go away! No, kitty kitty! <laughs> French! Oh, no, get away from me! Oh, oh, what a relief! Now, where was I? What was that all about, Queen Rat? Yeah. Scared of a few cats? Sorry. Don't you speak to me like that. I hate cats. And why do you hate cats so much? No, oh, well, I guess it all started many years ago at a party when I fell in love with a cat called Francois. Mm. He was from a different species, so I knew it wouldn't always be plain sailing. And Francois was much bigger than me, but that said, I lack a big boy. <laughs> Anyway, one day I organised a date with Francois, but he never turned up. I waited for him for three hours, so I gave up and went home, only to find that Francois had eaten my mum and dad! And that is why I hate cats. I hate them all! Anyway, you stupid fairy, you just flap your wings and go. I am back to cause trouble and wreck this panto show. Well, Queen Rat, you keep on trying, but Dick Whittington to the top is quickly flying. And good luck to you. But remember this, when I'm around, there's always a trick you'll miss. Uh, uh, oh, good riddance to you, Barry. And now it's time to do something scary. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I've got an evil plan to get Dick out of London. I'm going to steal the alderman's toilet paper and put it in Dick's bag to make it look like he stole it. <laughs> yes, the alderman will surely banish him. And that stupid cat. Oh, it's all so perfectly wicked. <laughs> oh, and to make things even better, I'm not going to touch anything. No. Simple Simon hates Dick as much as I do, so I'm going to make him do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't sleep. I mean, I'm just so angry about everything that's happened today, especially that Dick. Oh, I hate him. I can't stand him. I'm so fed up. Good evening, Simon. Who are you? Queen Rat is my name. Global domination is my aim. Now, how would you like to get Dick kicked out of London? Kicked out? Yes. All you need to do is steal the alderman's toilet paper and put it in Dick's bag to make it look like he stole it. What do you say? That seems pretty mean. Of course it's mean. That's the whole point. I don't think I want to be doing that. I mean, I know I hate Dick and all, but framing him for robbery he didn't commit... That's going too far. Are you sure? Oh, I don't know. Should I help Queen Rat, boys and girls? Yes! Yes! Of course! Yes! Nah. Well, that settles it. I'm not going to help you. Nah. Very well. We're going to have to do this the hard way. The hard way? Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, not around the eyes, and you're under. Now, Simon. Repeat everything I say. You are feeling extremely tired. I, you are feeling extremely tired. No, Simon. You are feeling extremely tired. I'm actually feeling quite energised tonight because... Simon, we're going to have to start again. You are feeling extremely tired. I am feeling extremely tired. The only voice you can hear is mine. There's not actually anything stopping me from hearing anybody else's Simon! voice. Simon! But... Once again! You are feeling extremely tired. I am feeling extremely tired. The only voice you can hear is mine. The only voice I can hear is yours. <laughs> yes, it's working! <laughs> not really, I'm just going along with yes, it because... Simon, stop ruining it! 
You are feeling extremely tired. I am feeling extremely tired. Oh, I think the audience are at this rate, aren't you? Yes. The only voice you can hear is mine. The only voice I can hear is yours. Whatever I say, you do. Whatever you do, I say. Oh, Simon, forget it! You're going to help me frame Dick once and for all. Now follow me quickly. And we have to be quiet, because if Dick catches us, we're completely scuppered. Oh, hey! Well, uh, oh, uh, oh. <laughs> Lullaby and good night, and the sky stars are bright. May the moon silver beams bring you sweet dreams. Close your eyes now and rest. May these hours be blessed till the sky is bright with dawn and you wake with a yawn. Stand to you, <gasps> Simon. Hey! Uh, <laughs> Lullaby and night in the sky stars bright. May the moon so be beams bring you sweet dreams. <sighs> Simon, it's down to you. The safe is right there. All you need to do is take the toilet paper, then put it in Dick Whittington's bag, and the deed will be done, and we'll go back to bed. But why are you <gasps> singing? <laughs> Listen up, Simon. Oh. Just do as you're told. Okay, Queen Rat. I'll do as you... Hurry up. Asked. Quick. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> Simon, what are you doing, you stupid idiot? All I'm doing is breaking into the safe. You don't have to do that. Just open the door. Oh, I... oh yeah, you were right. I didn't have to break the safe. Uh, no, you idiot. Put it in Dick's bag. That way. Hurry up. <laughs> yes. Yes, the deed is done. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Simon. Oh, I'm so confused. What time is it? I'm so tired, I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, there you are, Simon. Nice to see you. It's bright and early for once. Um, yeah, yeah. Morning, everybody. <laughs> morning. Oh, morning, Nick. Yes, I forgot about you for a second. Wish you'd have forgotten about them for a bit longer. What was that, Simon? Nothing. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dick. Good morning, Fanny. I missed you so much last night. I missed you too. <sighs> well, I hope you all got a good rest because we've got a very busy day indeed. This evening we set sail to Africa. Hey, up, hey, up. Everybody back to work, right? It's last day at shop. It's our last chance to make some money. And speaking of money, your aldermanship, isn't it today you should be paying us? Sarah's right. It's payday. Oh, I don't, no, I don't think so. No, no, no. Come along, Fitzy. Oh, Unless, of course, to... if you don't want to pay me, we could always come to some other sort of arrangement. Oh, no! No, no, no! Right, you're right, Sarah. It's payday, so I'm going to be paying you. What? But not in money. What? what? Why? Well, I ain't got any money left, have I? So I'm going to pay you toilet paper. Most valuable, isn't it? Don't you, you remember? Right, I'll just go it out of my safe. Oh, it's so exciting. I haven't mm. had my hands or my bottom on real toilet paper for months. Hang on a minute. What is it? It's my toilet paper. It's not there anymore. Come along, Fitzy. We know you're joking. Cough up. Oh, won't be coughing. Might be carrying coronavirus. But no, look. It's not genuinely not there. It would appear that my toilet paper's been stolen. <laughs> Scarring all night, weren't you, Dick? Yes, of course I was. Oh, did you see anybody suspicious last night? Nobody, sir. Oh, this is most mysterious. It would seem that one of us here is a thief. <laughs> a thief! <laughs> yes, yes, this is now a crime scene, right? Mm -hmm. Now, one by one, I want you all to come up to me and I'm going to search all of you. Oh, I volunteered to go first so you can search me as thoroughly as you like your ordermanship. No, 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 I've changed my mind, Sarah. I'm not going to be searching anybody, especially not you. And why not? Well, well you see, because, it, because, it, because it's social distancing. As if. But how are you going to find out who the thief is then? Ah, yes, right. Now, oh, simple, isn't it? You search yourselves. What? what? Yes, go on now. Come on, check you not the thieves. Oh, oh enough, 
I've, I've searched my slender and beautiful figure thoroughly, and I can assure you, I don't have the toilet paper. Oh, wonderful news, that's it. I'll take your word for that. And Fanny, surely you wouldn't steal from your own father. Of course not. I don't have the toilet paper either. All right, Simon. I'm all good. Right, now then. If Sarah didn't take toilet paper, nor Fanny didn't take toilet paper, and nor even Simon took toilet paper, that leaves on a eunuch! But! Oh, I didn't ask you to speak, did I? You're only one left, you must be thief. I would never steal anything from you. Well, you're the newcomer. I should have never trusted you. Come on, hand it over. I don't have your toilet paper. Father, just because we don't have the toilet paper doesn't mean Dick's the thief. Why? Have you searched yourself thoroughly? Yes. What about that bag? My bag? I haven't opened my bag since I got here. Search it now. Fine, but I don't understand why you don't believe me. Look, not a sheet in sight. <laughs> I knew it! I, I don't know how we got there! Silence! I Dick, said... how could you? Ah. I, okay, Fanny, you've got to believe me. I don't know how we got there. I said silence, Linter. You're a thief, Dick, and thieves are welcome here. Simon, arrest this man. Righto. Stop! What is it? You can't arrest Dick. Why not? Because of social distancing. If you couldn't search me because of social distancing, then surely you can't arrest Dick. Oh, heck. Oh, all right then. Dick, arrest yourself. What? Yes, come on. Get yourself over to that counter, pick up their handcuffs and arrest yourself. Oh, fine. I told you not to leave those handcuffs there, Fitzy. <laughs> right, Dick. You're banished. Do you hear me? You're banished. Oh. I never want to see your treacherous face again. Oh, oh they're broken. Oh. They've been used before. Oh. Well, I will do as you ask, sir, but if I may say one thing. In life, there are ups and downs, highs and lows, moments which... Dick, just get out, moments. <coughs> oh, Wreck, he's going to start singing, isn't he? Look, if you're not out of here by the time I get back, there's going to be trouble, right? Come on, let's leave this traitor alone. Well, we're back where we started. 
I told you you wouldn't have a nice time in London. Oh, do be quiet, Picasso. Oh, I wish there was some way I could prove to them my innocence, show them that I didn't steal the toilet paper. Did you try telling them it wasn't you? Yes. And? Well, what do you think? They didn't believe you. Exactly. Oh. I guess I'm just going to be a poor lad from Gloucester all my life. Oh. Well, that's where you're wrong. Oh, who are you? I'll give you a clue. I'm good and I'm a fairy. Are you a good fairy? Yes, and I'm here to help you, Dick. Listen. All, all I can hear are some bells. Yes, hark. Listen to what the bells are saying. They're, they're saying... Ding dong, ding dong, dong, ding, ding dong. No, no, no. Hark, better. All right. Well, have you finished harking? I can still only hear bells. Oh, come on, Dick. Help me out here. The bells are speaking to you. They're saying, turn again, Dick, a ding, ten. But that was the bells. That was you. No, it wasn't. Hark again. Turn again, ding, 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 ten, three times, Lord Mayor of London. What was that? <laughs> Turn again, ding, ding, ten, three times, Lord Mayor of London. Lord Mayor of London? Yes, it's your destiny, Dick. You will become Lord Mayor of London. Now go back to London and prove your innocence. Oh, thank you, good fairy. Come on, Picasso, to London! <laughs> Turn again, ding, ding, ten. Three times Lord Mayor of London. Yes, back to London we go. Nobody will ever defeat Queen Rat. Now, Dick and his friends will soon be on their way to Africa. So I am going to unleash rats across the continent before they arrive! <laughs> oh, well, I can't be bothered to travel all the way there. So I'm going to need some help from the African rat leader. Now, where's that laptop of mine? There we are. <laughs> now, open Zoom. Start meeting. Oh, I can't wait to tell him about my evil plan. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? How am I supposed to know if he can hear me if I can't hear him? Ah, I've got an idea. Uh, if you can hear me, Nod your head. What? No, you need to unmute yourself. Click on the bottom left. Unmute. Can you hear me now? Ah, yes. Now, what did you want to talk about? Oh, no, I can't see you. What? You'll have to say that again. Your sound keeps cutting uh, out. I said I can't see you. Oh. You can see a loo? No, I can't see you! Oh, sorry, my camera's switched off. Can you see me now? Ah, yes! <laughs> so, what do you think of my background? I don't care about your stupid background. This is a serious meeting. Oh, all right, I mean, go on then. Yes, thank you. Now, I need you to. <laughs> Oh, I'm very sorry. That's just my pet dog. I must have left the door open. Just listen. OK, OK. Yes, now, I've got a plan that I need you to... <laughs> oh, I do apologise. That was just my pet monkey. <laughs> Your pet monkey? Yes. Now, what were you saying? Yes, now, I need you to... <laughs> Tell me, you have a pet dinosaur? Well, <laughs> I do, actually. <laughs> but, uh, uh, let's just get on with the meeting. Now, I need you to unleash rats all over Africa. 
all, all over Africa? Yes, get them to wreak havoc across the continent. Is that understood? Well, it is, yes, but I've, I've, I've got something rather important to tell you about that. That's because... Hello? Oh, duh. And that's about it, really. So, unless you do that, I, I won't be able to unleash the rats, I'm afraid. What? Would you like to have a, a think about it? I can't have a think about it because I'll, I'll forget it. Thanks for nothing. Stupid laptop. God, what a pile of rubbish. Hello. Ugh. Hello. <sighs> have you gone? Oh. oh, dear. How do you turn this thing off? Oh, there. What a waste of time. I'll just have to go to Africa and unleash the rats myself. And when I do, I will be unstoppable. I will rule the world! Yeah. I won't just survive. Oh, you will see me thrive. Can't write my story. I am beyond the archetype. I won't just conform. No matter how you shake my core, because my roots they run deep. Oh, oh you've so little faith. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Victory is in my veins. I know it. I know. It. And I will not negotiate. I'll bite it, I'll bite it. I will transform. When, when the fires at my feet again, and the vultures all start circling, Wonderful. Oh, I'm so excited to get ready for our trading expedition. Do you like my social distancing hat? Oh, thank you. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to sailing all the way to Africa, and I can't wait to meet Captain Wayland Loudly. 
I think I'm going to introduce myself to him before any of the others can get their hands on him. Now, I wonder where Captain Whalen could be. Oh, hello, everybody. Hi, hello, Simon. Sarah, what's that on your head? Oh, I'm flattered you notice. It's hard not to. Cheeky. It's my social distancing hat. It keeps people a safe distance away from me. <laughs> but doesn't your face do that anyway? <gasps> well, really? Anyway, I'm looking for Captain Whalen loudly. Have you seen him? Huh? Captain, I'm looking for Waylon. Oh, okay. Ah! What are you doing? You said you were looking for Waylon. I didn't mean I was looking for a person to be Waylon. I'm looking for the captain. A person. Waylon loudly. Oh, okay. Ah! Now I want to see a person. Waylon loudly. But I was Waylon loudly. You were Waylon loudly? I thought you were Simple Simon. I am Simple Simon, but I was wailing loudly. So you used to be wailing loudly? No, I was Simple Simon, that now, I'm, now I'm Simple Simon, and now I'm standing here talking to you. Can't you tell the difference? But, but when were you wailing loudly? About 30 seconds ago. But you're not wailing loudly now? No. Then, 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 who are you? I'm Simple Simon. We've been working together for years. Yes, I know that. But before you were Simple Simon, you were wailing loudly. No, I was always Simple Simon, even when I was wailing loudly. What, you were Simple Simon and Waylon Loudly at the same time? Exactly! Then who's Waylon Loudly now? Well, I can't hear anybody. Before we go to Africa, I need to meet the captain. I want somebody to be Waylon Loudly. Well, I can be Waylon Loudly if you need me to be. <gasps> ah! No, I mean! Oh, <laughs> you must be my new shipmates. I'm Captain Waylon Loudly. You're not the captain. I certainly am. No, you're just Alderman Fitzwarren wearing a silly hat. Alderman Fitzwarren? Oh, no, I've never heard of him. What do you mean? But I thought you two were good friends. Oh, well, yes, we are. Yeah, yeah. But you just said you never heard of him. Oh, well, you see, I do suffer from the occasional brain fart. And, I mean, where am I? Who am I? You're Alderman Fitzwarren. I am not the Alderman, and I'm not going to waste any more time trying to convince you. I'm off to prepare me ship. What a weird fellow. Yeah. I think it's a bit strange. It's Definitely. Perhaps seems to be... Ah, oh. oh, Sarah! Simon, there you are! Oh, Fitzy! You just missed the captain. Oh, really? He looked exactly like you. Oh, shall we go and meet him at docks, then? You're right. Yeah. I think it's this way. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm really sad. Oh. I'm really sad. Oh. I just can't stop thinking about Dick. I just know he couldn't have stolen Father's toilet paper. Oh, I wish there was some way I could see him again and tell him that I believe him. Oh, but I guess I never will. Oh, Picasso, isn't it good to be back? Dick? <gasps> Fanny! Oh, you don't believe I stole the toilet paper, do you? Of course not. Oh, you must come to Africa with me. What about me? Picasso, you too. Why don't you disguise yourself so that nobody recognises you and then sneak onto the ship? Oh, that's a brilliant idea! Hurry, we set sail soon! Oh, come on, Picasso! Oh, I hope we pull this off! Be on my way to Africa. Now I've just received my ship in the post. Let's take a little look, shall we? What is that it? How am I supposed to sail to Africa in this? I ordered a ship for a rat. This is far too small for a rat. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't thought this through, have I? This ship is big enough for a rat. I'm too big to be a rat, but I am a rat. Just wait a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm just getting on my ship now. And here I am. Queen Rat. I don't know what I was on about before this ship is perfect for rats like me. Next stop, Africa! <laughs> OK, right. Oh, come on, you landlubbers. 
You're going to miss afternoon tide at this rate. Oh, hi, everybody. Be quiet to do as you're told. Oh, do stop shouting your aldermanship. I am not the alderman. Captain, what are these things you're making us carry? Ah, well, I'm glad you've asked, you see, because if we all stand in a line, you'll see, won't you? Right, there you go, you see. Now, this is our ship, isn't it? The corner social distancia. <laughs> what? Well, yes, of course. Look at it. What? She's a beautiful vessel. Social distancing guaranteed. You mean you expect to sail all the way to Africa in these pieces of ship? Yes, well, if it's a real panto, we could just get in a real ship, couldn't we? But to maintain social distancing, this is where we've got to do it. What are you on about? I don't understand. Well, look, if we all sail in our own piece of ship, audience thinks we're in a real ship, but we maintain a social distance. Are you sure about this, Captain? I certainly am. Then I... Quit! What? what? If you expect a lady as beautiful as myself to endure such horrific mode of transport, you are mistaken. You can go to Africa without me. Oh. But Sarah, you can't go. Come back. Come on, Picasso, there's the ship. Are you sure they won't see through our disguises? Well, this is the best we can do. Now, how do we get on? Dick! Um, Captain, now that Sarah's gone, who's going to do the cooking? Oh, yes, you're right. We're going to find a new cook, aren't we? Why, uh, hello there. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but did I hear that you were needing a new cook? Yes, we do indeed. You know anybody, like? Well, I happen to be a cook. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? I'll just go and fetch the alderman so he can approve you to come on with your boat ship. <laughs> oh, hello, fellow me young lad there. I believe you want to become a member of our crew. Why, uh, yes, I have uh, a lot of experience as a cook. Well, what's your name like, you know? Uh, my name, it's, uh, um, it's uh, Nicholas, Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas, Nicholas, I thought your face looked familiar. I beg your pardon? You're right, Father. It's Nicholas, the person who was our cook before mm. Sarah. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I was just making sure you remembered me, your holdermanship. Remembered you? Of course I remembered you, Nicholas. Now, do you remember all your recipes from time at shop? Why, yes, of course. You know, I've always... Ah, no, 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 no. My memory has never been very good. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, no worries. Is we'll find some recipes from somewhere. Oh, and I should have asked, shouldn't I? How ignorant of me. How's your family? Well, my wife's doing very well. No, my wife is dead. Oh, yes. I remember that tragic time all those years ago. But I remember the rest of your family. I mean, Tiddles is much bigger than I remember. Tiddles? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, why, yes. Say hello, Tiddles. Yeah. <laughs> and what about your other pets? How are they doing? My other pets? <coughs> oh, well, yes, of course. You probably remember that I have other pets. I, I have a, a bird, bird. More specifically, a bird which moves Quack! its head. Uh, 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 a turkey. Quack! Oh, no. Uh, uh, an ostrich. No, uh, it's a, a chicken. Why, well, yes, you probably remember that I have a chicken. <laughs> Yes, yes, I do remember you have a chicken, and I'd be most, most grateful if you join our crew. And Tiddles can come too. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, uh, Captain. I am not the captain. I'm all of in Fitzwarren. Silly me. Anyway, I've changed my mind. I will be coming with you to Africa. Oh, right. Um, when do we set sail? So? Um, well, thing is... Uh, and I... who are these two strangers? Uh, well, the thing is, you see, Sarah, we didn't think you were going to come back, did we? So we, we've got... You mean you've replaced me? Oh, how could you do that, Fitzy? After all we've been through in lockdown together. I can't believe you. Oh, not to worry, Sarah. You can come too. Everyone, then. And make sure you never, 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 never do that to me again. OK, right. We're going to need some extra pieces of ship, aren't we? Simon, go and fetch Captain, will you? Um... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll go and fetch Captain, shan't I? Yeah. Oh, Captain, 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 where are you? Captain, Captain. Oh, there you are, Captain. Yeah, pull that pint down. Come on. Right. Here we are. Here's some extra pieces of ship. Oh, thank you. Right. Everybody assume your positions. Right, 
Alderman Fitzwarren! Seeing as you're it front it, shit, right? You have to warn us of any obstacles. Right? No. Oh, oh yes, of course. Uh, no, just give us a thumbs up. Wonderful. Right, on we go to Africa. To, to Africa! Africa. Da, da, da. La mer qu'on voit danser le long du golfe clair a des reflets d'argent la mer des reflets changeants sous la pluie la mer au ciel d'été Confond et blanc avec les anges si purs, la mer, bergère d'azur, infinie. Voyez, près des étangs, ces grands roseaux mouillés. Voyez, Les oiseaux blancs et ses maisons brouillées. La mer les a le long des golfes clairs. Et de Oh, all this sailing is making me feel seasick. Surely a captain like you doesn't get seasick. I'm not the captain, I'm all the big bits worried. Oh yes, of course, sorry about that. This what? is so beautiful. It's giving me so much inspiration for my next piece of artwork. Oh, hello everybody. It's lovely to see you again. See, see. Ah, oh, forget it. That joke sounds a little fishy to me, Sarah. Oh. I agree. I think we should wave goodbye to oh. it. Oh, speaking at waves, we'll go in the right direction, like. I don't know. Why don't we ask the captain? Lord, oh, Kiri, Lord, captain, are we Lord. going in the right direction? No, 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 you don't. Oh, the captain seems to be taking a rather a long time to answer. It's a very big ship, you know. I wonder. Kiri, captain. Can I wonder what whale he could be. Oh, whale he could oh, be. Go. Don't encourage him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here he comes, I think. Captain? Oh, hey! Oh, sorry I lost my voice for a bit there. Oh, you poor thing. And what's happened to the ship? Oh, ship! <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Looks exactly what it's supposed to look like. Oh, silly me. I must have been hallucinating. And I've clean forgotten what the order was question. I'll just ask him again. No, oh, why don't we... Uh... No, oh, look, uh, I'm sure Alderman's fine. No, you're right, he looks like he's getting worse. Let's reverse a little so we can see him better. Oh, like... oh. Oh. <laughs> now, where think could this... the Alderman be? <laughs> He's obviously been on the rub, Look, you know. Look, he Oh, Fee. Hey, 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 thank you. Thank you. Oh, Fee, I don't feel very well at all. I feel ever so faint. Oh, deep breaths, Alderman. Oh, right. Now, I'll be so hot in teeth. I mean, aren't you hot too, Nicholas? Come on, take your hat off. Come You're on. right, I think I will. Nicholas, your dick went in tin. Don't faint, Fitzy, you'll fall off the ship. Oh, oh, but I feel so... Oh, ah, I've fallen overboard. Somebody help me. Captain, what do we do? Don't ask the captain, just save me. <gasps> Perfect. Captain, ring your alderman ship. Ow. Stop. What is it? I know the alderman's about to drown and all that, but we still have to respect social distancing. What? what? 
He has to disinfect the ring before touching it. Oh, here's some disinfectant. Pass it uh, along. Pass I'm it still him. drowning! <laughs> Ow! Oh. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, just disinfect the ring, Fitzy. And just be on the safe side, does anyone have any hand sanitizer? I do! Pass it to him. Ow! Right. Can I touch my ring now? I've disinfected it and used hand sanitizer. Yes, if you must. I'll reel you in. Oh, Dick. Thank you, you've saved me life. It truly was a pleasure, sir. Oh, and you know, just for that, I'm going to forgive you for trying to steal my toilet paper. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Right, on we go to Africa. To, to Africa. Africa! Hang on a second. There's a leak in the ship. Look! Hang on, there's a leak here too. And here! He's at wrong leaf. Well, why is ship sinking? Oh, this sure makes no sense at all. Celebrate my victory with a little bit of sunbathing. Ta ta! <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> The ship sank, we all got separated, and I woke up to find myself here in Africa. Who would believe it? <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, no, don't tell me. It's rat probably here in Africa, too. It's raining rats again. Oh, go, go, go away. Shoo, 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 I don't like you rats. I didn't realise rats could fly. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 it's... Raining men! Humidity's <laughs> rising Barometer's getting low How low? According to all sources The street's the place to go For tonight for the first time just about a half past ten For the first time in history It's gonna start raining men It's raining men Hallelujah, it's raining men Every person men Tall, blonde, dark and lean Rough and tough and strong and mean God bless Mother Nature She's a single woman too So that each and every woman Should find her perfect guy It's raining men 
Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen, it's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen, it's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Every specimen, men. Tall, blonde, dark and lean. Rough and tough and strong and mean. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna let myself get absolutely soaking wet. It's raining men. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what lovely men. And here's some more lovely men. Oh, thank you. Oh, blood, dark and mean. <laughs> Thank you, men. You know what? I'm rather liking it here in Africa. But I've heard there are wild animals here. And there are gorillas. I really don't want to meet a gorilla. You'll help me. Shout out and warn me if you see a gorilla, OK? OK, no teasing. Are you... OK, I'll have a look behind me. There's no gorillas there. You're fibbing. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, no, there isn't. There isn't, there isn't, there isn't. Well, if you're so sure, I'll have a look this way. There's no gorillas. That's not a gorilla. That's not a gorilla. And even in the wings, there's no gorillas. Are you fibbing? You better not be. I'll have a look this way. No gorillas. No gorillas. No gorillas. You really should have gone to Specsavers. Right. Is it still there? Yes. Is it more than a metre behind me? Yes. Is it wearing a mask? Yes. Well, in that case, it's perfectly safe. What a chic. Now, where could the others be? Sarah, is that you? Simon! Oh, hi, everybody. Hi, Simon. Oh, Sarah, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I am so happy to see you. And I'm pleased to see you too, Simon. Well, have you seen the others? Simon? Sarah? Fanny. Fanny. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Have you seen Father or Dick? <gasps> Fanny! Dick! Ah, stop! Just because we're in Africa doesn't mean you don't have to respect social distancing. Oh, oh well. It's still good to see you all. Now, where could the alderman be? Father! Well, I'm not your father. Fitz, are you having a brain fart again? No, I'm not the alderman Fitzmaurice or Captain Wayne and Loudly. I let me introduce myself. I am... Salt and pepper in Morocco. <laughs> and I'm here to arrest you for trespassing in my country. What? Yes, you see, you see my pet gorilla, Boris. He said he'd seen some unwelcome visitors and unwelcome visitors get sent to prison. Yes, no. I'm going to be sentencing you to 14 days in prison. What? Well, initially 14 days, right? But I might extend it a bit. And while you're in prison, if you want to have up to one hour's exercise a day, you have to fill this attestation out every time you want to leave prison. This is worse than confinement oh. all over again! <laughs> oh, how dare you indeed! Scrub prison, I'm going to execute lots of you. Oh, what? salt and pepper, have mercy on us! Not at all, no, I was expecting a, a visit from world-renowned ballet dancer Sarah Supreme. But she hadn't turned up, so I'm going to entertain myself watching your executions. Guys! <gasps> Wait! What is it? We're the visitors you're expecting. What? Yes! Sarah! This is Sarah, the world-renowned ballet dancer, and we're all part of her team. I'm a what? A world-renowned Ballet dancer. Oh, well, why did you say something? I'm glad you've turned up. Oh, the pleasure's all ours. Anyway, we'd better be going. I've got lots of rehearsing to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We worry about your performance. Per 
performance. Yes, you're ready to perform, remember? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, salt and pepper Morocco, we present to you the worst renowned, I mean, world renowned ballet dancer herself, Sarah the Supreme. <laughs> disappear at once. That's an order from Sultan Pepper of Morocco. Ooh, you're a Sultan, are you? I am. Well, I'm afraid you are a Sultan no longer. My rats have ruined London, and now they've ruined Africa. Soon I will rule the world! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and for my grand finale, I'm going to make them eat you all, one by one. Rats of Africa, your queen commands you. Come at once. Oh, and enjoy death. Oh, <laughs> oh my country ruined forever. What am I going to do? Oh, if only the cats are way down. And just a bit of colour here. Picasso! Oh, oh, hi! You're alive! Of course I am! Africa's been giving me so much artistic inspiration! That's all very well, but we need to save us from death by rats! Death by rats? Yes, Picasso! Any minute every rat in the continent is coming to eat us! Oh. Queen Rat sent them! Oh, oh look! Here they come now! Leave this to me! Woohoo! Oh, That's a cancel! Yes! 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 you did it! You defeated every rat in the continent! Oh! Oh! How wonderful! Who does this extraordinary cat belong to? She's mine! Oh, what's your name like? Dick Whittington, sir. Well, Dick, as a reward for ridding my country of rats, I'm going to offer you an absolute fortune. Oh, Dick, that's amazing. You've got to say yes. You'll be rich beyond your wildest dreams. Well... Yes, of course I accept. Thank you so much. Right, I'm going to offer you to have your ship filled with gold immediately. Oh, Picazzo, this is a dream come true. You're welcome. Oh, Picazzo, I'm so glad I met you. We defeated Queen Rat. Yay! Hey. What do we do now then? Well, we'll go back to London and I'll use my riches to make Fitzroy Store the greatest shop in all of London. But I thought you didn't like Fitzroy Store. After all, you did try and steal the toilet paper. Actually, he didn't. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Queen Matt convinced me to put the toilet paper in Dick's bag to frame him. Oh, Simon, that's terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. I just. I just was so jealous of Dick, he's just so tall and muscular and, well, oh, sorry. Um, and I just thought that if uh, the, the old man banished him, maybe Fanny would fall in love with me. Oh, Simon, how dare you? Oh, come on, Fanny, he's told the truth now and he only wanted you to love him and uh, I can't blame him for that. Well, if you think about it like that, speaking of which, oh, Fanny, you're the most amazing girl I've ever met and there's nobody else I would ever want to spend my life with. Will you marry me? Oh, Dick, yes! Yay! Right, 
Your ship's ready to set sail. Thank you very much for visiting. Well, most appreciated. And notwithstanding, of course, Sarah, your wonderful, beautiful dance routine. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, off we go to London. Off we go to London. <laughs> to London. <laughs> oh, yes. Hi, everybody! Hi, Simon! Well, wasn't that exciting? Yay. Well, Yay. now we've only got a really boring wedding where I'm sure nothing will go wrong. We thought <laughs> we'd sing a little song to start with. And there's some dance moves that are a lot better than Sarah's, so go with it. Ooh. So come on, everybody, stand up and dance with us! Yes, come on! <laughs> Before anybody says anything, I am not the alderman Fitzwarren. I'm a bishop. Look at me at. Right, now, alderman's running a bit late, right, so we're going to start without him. Dearly beloved, we is gathered here today to join this man and woman in holy matrimony. Oh, isn't this so exciting? Yes. Would the bride and groom please come and place themselves either side of this one metre ruler? Right, Dick Whittington. Do you take Fanny Fitzwarren to be your awfully wedded wife? I do. And Fanny Fitzwarren, do you take Dick Whittington to be your awfully wedded husband? I do. Then we're going to seal your promises with a ring. Sarah, bring up them rings. Please. Oh, yes. Simon, come and disinfect them rings, please. Right, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dick, you're going to go first, right? Now, you can't touch ring with, 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 with fingers, right? So you're going to take them tongs off of there. You're going to... Put ring on Fanny's finger with them tongs, okay? All right. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what a surprise, you've dropped it. Oh no, what are we going to do? Well, how about we just skip the rings? That's a good idea. All right, in that case, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Oh, no, 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 OK. Uh, that concludes the wedding. Uh, congratulations to happy couple. Hooray! <laughs> oh, congratulations indeed. Thought you'd seen the last of me. Queen Rat! Yes, and I'm back to get my revenge. You may have beaten me in Africa, but you won't do it again. There's only one way to settle this once and for all. You come here! What do you want, Queen Rat? I declare a sword fight! A sword fight? Ooh, that's right! Well, if I win, do you promise to leave us alone forever? Fine, but you'll never beat me. You're right, I never would. What? Well, I've never been in a sword fight, so I never would win. But I know somebody who would. Captain Whalen loudly. Yes. You're right. You must have had loads of sword fights at sea. Well, that's all very well, isn't it? But we haven't seen captains since we got separated at sea. And how did you know that, Bishop? I mean, I'm not a bishop. I'm all the Oh no, I am Bishop Fanta. Forget my last statement, all right? Uh, anyway, we still need to find the captain for the sword fight. Hang on a second. Look, it's the captain. Yeah. Oh, what a fault yeah. stroke of coincidence. Kiwi captain oh. over here. Oh, not this again. What was that, Bishop? Oh, nothing. Bishop, Bishop, why, why did you run off like that? <sighs> Perhaps you needed to go to the toilet. <laughs> Captain, hurry oh. up! Oh, hello, yes. shipmates! Captain! Oh, I'm glad you're all safe. I've, I've just sailed halfway across the globe looking for you. Captain, we're all safe, but we need you to help us. Oh, I'll give you anything for my crew. How can I help? Like, we need you, know. you to beat Queen Rat in a sword fight. A sword fight? No problem. Stand back, everybody. You'll never defeat me, Captain Whalen, loudly. We'll see about that, Ratface. Let's Stop. begin. What do you want? How are you going to have a sword fight while respecting social distancing? Ah, you wait and see. <laughs> You are a dead man walking, <gasps> Captain Wayne, and loudly. I'm going to get right, you. Right, let the final sword fight begin. Ah. Go, come on, Captain! Captain. Come, on, Captain. 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 Go, come on, Captain! Come on, Captain! Go, 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 Captain! Go
Oh, yes, so what would next Tuesday be? Oh, excellent, excellent. <laughs> right, right, with that, I'm off to plan my next wedding. Oh, Sultan, isn't this so exciting? Yeah. Sultan? <laughs> Where's he run off to now? Oh, here he oh. is. <laughs> oh, um, the pl <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear, Mar Margaret. I can't wait, Sarah! Oh, I can tell that. Oh, this day couldn't possibly get any better. Father, it's you! What? Oh, my goodness, it's Fitzy! Oh, heck! <sighs> oh, very wonderful to meet you all. Oh, <laughs> Fitzy, you need to meet my new fiancé. No, I don't. I know you must be jealous I'm not all yours anymore, but you need to meet him. Fine, introduce me then. Fitzy, I introduced to Salt and Pepper of Morocco. Oh, oh very oh, lovely to meet you all, Mr. Alderman Fitzwarren. <laughs> all pleasure's all mine. Now, it's very rude of me to come to church, isn't it, and not meet Bishop. Oh, no, I'll go get the Bishop, all right? <laughs> oh, what how lovely Bishop? that conversation I had with Bishop off at stage there. With the Bishop? <laughs> Yes, with the Talking bishop. To himself, with, the, Talking to yourself, okay. <laughs> with the older men. Speaking of which, that was a very quick conversation. Well, I had very little to catch up on. Now, you're all going to have to go, right, because I've got to disinfect church for the next wedding. Are you sure you're not just trying to get rid of us? Well, very dare you. Very well, then. Come on, Sultan. Oh, no, look. Why don't we go meet Sultan down at Crown and Anchor? Because that would be too easy. Come on, Sultan! Oh, there you yeah. are, Sarah. I thought I told you to meet me down at the Crown and Anchor. Well, isn't that funny? Because that's exactly what the Bishop said, wasn't it, Bishop? Bishop! Oh, no, no, enough, enough, enough. I've had enough. I've had enough, right? OK, I've got a confession to make. I'm not the Sultan Pepper in Morocco. No, what? I'm over here, that way. <laughs> No, oh, I'm over here. He doesn't know whether he's coming or Double going. <laughs> right, I'm actually Captain Whalen Loudly. But, but, Captain, you said you weren't actually the captain, but you were just a salt and pepper in disguise. Well, that makes no sense, does it? None of this is making any sense. Well, uh, in that case, I'm not captain, nor the sultan. I'm actually... What? The bishop! <gasps> bishop? <laughs> and I've actually got one final... Come... Uh, confession to make a final last one right I'm not bishop either no no I'm actually I think we can all see where this one's going Alderman Fitz Warren Yay! oh Fitzy stay here I knew it was you all along and now we're to be married what you proposed to me when pretending to be the bishop pretending to be the captain pretending to be the sultan we get married on Tuesday. But I'm not sultan anymore. I'm all the men worried. But, 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 you said... Oh, I'm only joking, Sarah. Of course I'll marry you. Oh, yes. Hooray! Well, it looks like we've got another wedding to plan and I'll pay for it with my riches. Oh, Dick, that's so generous. Well, I'm not going to keep it all to myself, am I? And once I'm done with that, I'll use the rest of it to make London the greatest city in the world. Ooh. Hey. And with that, our story comes to its happy end. Dick Whittington was true to his word and spent every penny making London a better place. He was loved by the people of London and was voted Lord Mayor not once, not twice, but three times. Well, I think that leaves just one thing left to say. That's yeah. right. We, we all live happily ever after. after.
Never grow old. Don't forget me, I found love too. Oh, we're solved in Zeri. Eh? No, with you. We oh. respected social distancing at all times. And listened out for those Bobel chimes. An evil queen, I am no more. And greatness was restored to Fitzwarren store. We're leaving now with one final bow. And Picasso's off to paint. That's right, meow. Yay! Yay!